we have created data sculptures for over 20 countries. Each one tells a story and gives us hints of what may await. This, my friends, is what our global population has looked like since 1950. Now, this tells a very coarse story, one slice per decade, one horizontal slice per age group. We can see the same story, but in a more beautiful and more precise way, showing it year by year. Look at this. Look at how many stories are embedded in this data sculpture. The investments by World Bank Group and others in health, infrastructure, energy, and so on, have enabled more of us in this planet. Indeed, right now, there's more than 7 billion of us. Patterns emerge much more sharply at the national level. For example, this is the population data sculpture for the Central African Republic. You see very smooth change. Which is very different from what you could see in Qatar. sculptures reveal stories of migration as well as stories of war and pandemics. This is what the population of Romania looks like right now. You can see that there aren't as many children as there are adults. This shape suggests that governments and economies need to consider the impacts on the economy and on government due to retirement and pension funds and social security systems that may go bankrupt. What happens if you have too many people needing help and not many people paying for that need? The same is true of certain diseases and pandemics that hit hardest people in certain age ranges. So if you have more vulnerability for the elderly, it's very different to be in Romania than to be in the Central African Republic where there aren't as many older adults. We can innovate in how we show what we know. Data can create beauty. It can inspire questions and it can guide decisions. Thank you.